John Wayne, a towering figure in Hollywood, became synonymous with the Western genre through his portrayal of rugged and skilled gunslingers. His performances during Hollywood's golden age left an indelible mark, working alongside some of the greatest names in film history. For those eager to revisit the charm of classic westerns, here is a selection of eight John Wayne films that remain timeless. In the film Sands of Iwo Jima, John Wayne portrayed Marine Sergeant John Stryker, a character with a gruff exterior and a demanding leadership style that reflected the harsh realities of war. Stryker's tough demeanor is a response to the intense and unforgiving nature of the battle at Iwo Jima, one of the Second World War's most ferocious conflicts. His portrayal reveals layers of depth in a character who must navigate the complexities of leadership and the personal toll of combat. Wayne's performance earned him an Academy Award nomination, signaling the film industry's recognition of his ability to convey the nuances of a battle-hardened soldier's experience. The film itself garnered critical acclaim, securing a total of four Academy Award nominations, which underscored its success in capturing the essence of the historical event it depicted. In the 1970 film Chisholm, John Wayne took on the role of John Chisholm, a cattle baron who finds himself in the middle of the Lincoln County Land War, a significant event in the history of the American West. The film weaves a narrative that aligns Chisholm with historical figures, portraying him as a fatherly figure who stands firm in his convictions and battles against those who threaten his way of life and the community he supports. The portrayal of Chisholm by Wayne adds a personal dimension to the character, showing a man who is not only a powerful leader, but also a caring individual guiding and protecting those around him. The film has been noted for its historical context and the depth Wayne brought to his character, making it a memorable entry in the Western genre. Wayne's performance as John Chisholm is a highlight of his career, showcasing his ability to embody a character that is both strong and compassionate. In the 1953 film Hondo, John Wayne portrays Hondo Lane, a character adapted from Louis Lemoore's novel. The story unfolds in the American frontier, where Hondo, a dispatch rider for the cavalry, encounters Angie Lowe, a woman determined to hold her ground on her farm despite the threat of nearby Apache raids. As Hondo navigates the dangers of the western landscape, he becomes a protector, an ally to Angie, and her young son Johnny. The film is notable for its authentic portrayal of the period and the complex dynamics between settlers and Native Americans. Geraldine Page delivers a standout performance as Angie, which garnered her critical acclaim and an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. The film's depiction of the rugged terrain, coupled with the character's resilience, paints a vivid picture of frontier life. Hondo's character, marked by his rugged individualism and sense of honor, reflects the archetypal Western hero that John Wayne popularized throughout his career. In The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, John Wayne portrays Tom Donovan, a rugged rancher embodying the traditional values of the Old West. The film, directed by John Ford, is set in the fictional town of Shinbone, where Donovan stands as a pillar of moral fortitude. The narrative, told in retrospect, delves into the conflict between Donovan and the notorious outlaw Liberty Valance. As the plot progresses, it becomes clear that Donovan's actions are driven by a deep sense of justice and a protective instinct towards the townspeople and his love interest, Hallie. The character's complexity is further revealed as he navigates his relationship with lawyer Ransom Stoddard, played by James Stewart, whose arrival in Shinbone introduces new ideologies and challenges to Donovan's way of life. The film culminates in a climactic confrontation where the true nature of heroism and sacrifice is explored through Donovan's decisive battle with Valance, leaving a lasting impression on the law and order of Shinbone. In The Searchers, John Wayne portrays Ethan Edwards, a character that marked a significant shift from his typical heroic roles. Directed by John Ford, the 1956 film presents Wayne as a Civil War veteran who embarks on a relentless pursuit to rescue his niece, abducted by a Comanche tribe. The narrative explores themes of obsession and revenge diverging from the actor's usual portrayals of straightforward, morally upright characters. Wayne's performance as Edwards is noted for its complexity as he navigates a character torn between his hatred for the Comanche and his love for his family. The film's portrayal of the rugged American West landscape serves as a backdrop to Edward's journey, reflecting the character's internal turmoil and the broader cultural conflicts of the era. 
The Searcher stands out in Wayne's filmography for its nuanced character study and its departure from the archetypal Western hero, offering audiences a deeper look at the psychological battles faced by those on the frontier. In The Quiet Man, John Wayne portrayed Sean Thornton, an American boxer who retires from the ring and returns to his birthplace in Ireland. Seeking a peaceful life, Thornton's plans are disrupted when he falls in love with Mary Kate Danaher, played by Maureen O'Hara. The film explores Thornton's struggle to adapt to the rural Irish community and the resistance he faces from Mary Kate's brother, who opposes their union. Directed by John Ford, the movie was well received for its direction, cinematography, and the strong performances of its leads. It earned Academy Awards for Best Director and Best Cinematography Color. Wayne's role in this film was a departure from his usual rugged, action-oriented characters, displaying his range as an actor and his ability to capture the audience's attention in a more subdued and romantic role. In The Shootist, John Wayne delivers a powerful performance as a celebrated gunfighter grappling with a fatal diagnosis. The character's struggle is a mirror to Wayne's personal fight against cancer, adding depth to the portrayal. The film stands out for its honest depiction of a man's journey towards the end of his life, showcasing his reflections on his past and the legacy he will leave behind. This role, being Wayne's last, holds a significant place in film history, marking the end of an era for the legendary actor. The narrative does not shy away from the harsh realities of life and death. Instead, it presents them with dignity and a sense of peace, resonating with audiences who have witnessed Wayne's illustrious career in cinema. In the 1969 film True Grit, John Wayne delivered a memorable performance as Rooster Cogburn, a one-eyed United States Marshal. His portrayal was so compelling that it earned him the Academy Award for Best Actor, the only Oscar of his career. The film itself is a narrative of retribution and justice where Cogburn's gritty determination and rough around the edges persona shine as he pursues a murderer across the rugged terrains of the American West. This role was a significant highlight in Wayne's filmography, showcasing his ability to capture the essence of a tough lawman. True Grit stands as a distinguished work that has solidified its status as a classic within the Western genre and in the broader scope of American cinema.